All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've been talking a lot about, you know, when I say that I'm beautiful and all that, but I don't think it really bothers anyone because, first of all, everybody knows I'm kind as hell, so I'm very sweet, but, um, so for them, they're not concerned about me being overly, like, rude about or snobby because I would never be rude to anyone for, for their looks ever, 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 um, but, I mean, but for, for, uh, people will always say to me on my YouTube channel, they always compliment my looks. So, so I think people really enjoy when I talk about it. Now, it's the way you talk about it too, you know. If you're just like trashing people and saying, oh, I don't like this person because of this or because they're not attractive enough or whatever. Like, I would never be like that. Like for me, it's not something I'm like. So, I mean, I understand not everybody's built the same way. I don't judge, you know, I'm not like that. So, you know, not everybody has the look that I have. Not everybody can look this good. So I totally get that. So I'm not going to be, I'm very fortunate, very, very fortunate to look this way. So I'm not going to be rude. I would never be rude. It just doesn't come out of me. And I don't like drama. I really don't. Uh, anyway. Um, oh, sorry, guys. This hair is just on the, dr oh, boy, guys. I'm falling apart. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, guys, all right, let's just get that going there. Okay, that looks good, okay. So guys, I really want to say thank you all for being here during this time with my dad. Um, I'm, I'm strong because my dad is strong. He was always very positive. Um, and you know, his dad died at 94, so I thought my dad had a chance to live longer, but unfortunately he didn't. Um, and so if you are somebody that is his friend or you are someone that knows him, and you want to make a comment to me, and you want, or you want to even call me or whatever, you can. Like, let me know that you were close to him, or let me know that you uh, uh, have, have him in your thoughts, you know? Um, sorry, guys. So, um, I was very spoiled, and I know people know my parents. I know people that knew my parents, and there was a lot of people that knew my parents. Um, I know people that knew my parents were really kind of, um, just the tip people that were just as nice as they were and very happy to know them. My parents were great, you know, I'm sure people that knew them are missing my dad, you know. My mom passed way too young. She was, I think she was 64 or 63 when she passed. That's way too young. I don't think anyone should die at that age. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like, I think people are really... Uh, really kind of like, my dad was a hero, you know, he was very, he was like the epitome of what a guy should be like, you know, I mean, he had been married for 42 years with my mom, so, you know, everybody that knew him would know he's, he was great, you know, and they would know that he really, he really valued the things that were in his life, and he had been, he had been a good friend to a lot of people, you know, people would, and he was an immigrant, so people had come to Canada, and he'd be more than happy to have them uh, be, be helped and be, be connected to him and be, you know, he was very motivated to help people, and he had done a lot of work for people for free, you know, he left lots of yard work for people with construction, he did residential construction a lot of times for people for free, so I mean, I always felt that that was not good, you know, I wanted him to get paid and he was not treated well that way sometimes, but I mean, his friends really, really got a lot out of him, you know, and so he was more than happy to do stuff like that. He knew that if it was a friend, he would, he would go out of his way to do those things and he was very, he was very, you know, um, he was very gracious and very humble. Well, he actually wasn't humble. Um, he was very into his performing for sure, um, and he was really kind of like, I'm the, I'm the best. He would always say he's the best, so I get that from him, but I do it in a more humble way. I think he, with him, he was very much like, he had always been like, I'm the best, and no one's better, and he didn't want to hear anybody else's talents or anybody's things, about anybody's things, but I mean, that's just how he was, right? Um, but he was a caring person, very caring. And, you know, even though he felt he was the bee's knees, he did feel that he, he did feel, he did, you know, he cared in his own way. You know, he was very, even though he was very much like, I'm the bee's knees, I want to only talk about me. He knew that, he knew that people liked hearing about that. So he didn't, he didn't feel it was a big deal. 
Um, but I mean, for me, I'm I'm always you know very you know nice about things, and I I tend to ask people questions about this this situation. I tend to I tend to be very um, I tend to be very uh, compassionate, you know, and I'm very much like a I'm very much like the type of person that's like if someone's going to talk to me about my situation, I'm going to mention something about theirs. But he was older, so maybe. Maybe older people aren't like that, but I mean, I felt I felt like if I talk to someone, I'm always wanting to know if they're interested in me or they want to know about me. I'm like, great, thank you. So I'll talk to them about them. You know, I try to be inclusive of people's. I mean, I feel like I'm great, but I'm not that great that I can't listen to people talk about themselves and talk about what they've offered to the world. You know, but I mean, my dad was my dad was great. You know, and the thing is, a lot of women really liked him so they didn't really care that he was like that you know they would be like i want to hear what he has to say you know it's all about him <laughs> but i mean he was a very nice person very good person um and his friends were just all kinds of backgrounds you know he had very many friends um and so you know i mean i'm very fortunate to be have been his child you know i'm very lucky and you know um the one, another good thing about my dad's situation, and I know I'm talking about my dad a lot today, but I know you guys understand because my dad just passed, uh, and so it's important that I talk about him, but, uh, but yes, another really good thing about him is he didn't die of a drug overdose, or he didn't, he wasn't suicidal, and he wasn't, like, he wasn't, like, you know, all these things you hear about celebrities, that they're suicidal, or they do this, or they do that, you know, he was done none of those things, you know. He never died from bad plastic surgery that was unfixable, you know. I mean, he had, he looked like a star, but he wasn't like, you know, a crazy like a star, you know what I mean? Like, where they die of like this crazy thing and you're just like, you're just like, no normal person would die like that. Even though he wasn't a celebrity, he totally looked like one and he could have done those things. I mean, people do those things all the time. But he was very much like a, a, a very, um, happy person, no drugs for him, no, I mean, he smoked for a long time, but he stopped uh, to when we were born, later on when we were born, because my mom wanted him to, and he just quit cold turkey, it was so nice. I feel very spoiled that he wasn't smoking around me, like, I'm very lucky, because I never, I, I was really grateful that he was, like, cared enough about me that he didn't want to smoke when I was born, I like around the time when I was young, and my brother too, and so he was very supportive that way. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Totally enjoyed the show, guys. Alright, guys. Giving it my all. Thanks for watching. Bye. Click subscribe.